Check it out. Made it to Wyoming. It's uh 6.15 p.m. on the 25th of July, 2018. I'm pretty tired. Uh, I don't even know how many miles I've done already. Probably like 18, 17, 18 miles. Uh, what is this? I don't even know what this says. Wyco. Something. I, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, but that's the line. Somebody left some cool rocks here. It's like motion and stuff. But yeah, it's uh, a couple more miles to water, I believe, and then I can camp for the night. And hopefully, I th believe I'm close enough to hitch into town in the morning to encampment to resupply and get some rest some you know shower burger and beer protocol uh, yeah Wyoming's already a little different uh, as opposed to Colorado I mean the there's a little different type of uh, pine tree I've been seeing like the past several miles it's like a I don't, I don't know. It's got white bark, but it's got the short pine needles, kind of like a, kind of like these. But I don't know where they're at. <laughs> now I can't find one, of course. But it is quiet. It's been quiet all day. I've scared off a deer. This is fun. They don't like to maintain these, and they're huge. Ugh. All right, wildflower. Stepping on these wildflowers smell really good, but uh, yeah, I scared off like a big mule deer. Other than that, I really haven't seen anything, I haven't seen any people or wildlife. Uh, just wandering through nature by myself. Yeah, I was uh, trying to cross it. I wasted like 20 minutes trying to cross the river this morning. The bridge was out. I didn't pay attention to the sign. Didn't pay attention to the... Did not pay attention to the notes and gut hook. Everyone's like, yeah, just go around the detour. There's a road. And I was just like, yeah, how bad could it be? I had to walk through it. So <laughs> I looked for like 20 minutes. So I'm pretty good at river crossings. Uh, but uh, this one got me. I was like, you know what? I'll just walk through it. It's going to be hot enough today to dry my stuff. And it was. So Typically, I would go through barefoot and let the river wash my feet while I keep my feet dry. But it was way too rocky and slippery. I would have hurt myself for sure. But uh, anyway, enough of my rambling about stupid river crossings and whatnot in Wyoming two states down partial this one partial uh, Idaho and then all the way up through Montana <laughs> Woo, about halfway there to Canada I'm gonna get me some maple syrup I hope I don't know We'll see, but see you later, and uh, get out hiking, go do this stuff, go find used gear on Facebook or on your social medias or on, you know, on Amazon, and check it out, if you have questions about gear, let me know, because uh, the gear I, I have is pretty good, it's top of the line, a lot of it's lifetime warranty, companies like Black Diamond for trekking poles uh, these are old I mean Tim gave me these and I put about 1200 miles on them until you know it, it, they already had like six or seven hundred miles on them. And that's what it took for the tip to break on one of them 
but uh yeah they're a good product i mean a lot of the, you know osprey replaced my pack black diamond will probably eventually replace my poles uh the socks even have lifetime warranties like smart wool and darn tough a lot of retailers will just exchange to darn tough right there but uh a lot of them you know i won't like so i only ran into one retailer that wouldn't that sold them i was like really you don't but nobody does smart wool in my experience on this trail anyway uh but smart wool has lifetime warranty so i gotta go on their website and figure it out how i can exchange a worn out pair uh, for another one because she has spent two hundred dollars on socks and you got socks for the rest of your life yeah, that's what i'm talking about it's a good company like you gotta support good companies like that because like companies that don't stand by their product are shit well this is pretty precarious so it, man it's quiet and not even birds it's kind of weird been a lot of evidence of moose further south but i haven't seen any anything up here First time Wyoming, I don't even know what to expect. No idea. No idea. Other than what I've seen in movies. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, enjoy your day or whatever you're doing. Think about that nice fresh cup of coffee. When I'm sitting here drinking instant coffee <laughs> that I heat over a little camp stove. If I even feel like it, I've only done that like three times on the entire trail so far because you just either get too tired or you're just in a hurry or whatnot. But, uh, yeah, this is definitely wilderness for sure. Uh, yeah, well, I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm terrible at these YouTube videos. Whatever. If you got any ideas or comments or questions, just call me. If you most of the people watching these videos have my number, so just call me. What do you want me to talk about in these videos? Uh, yeah. So, adios.